Hello everyone, my name is Braden Gerard, and today we're gonna to look at how you can use Strapi to send emails. So if your application needs to send out an email for some reason, and you wanna manually trigger that, or maybe you want it to run automatically based on certain conditions, um, we can do that. So let's create a new Strapi app by running npx create Strapi app at latest, and then we're gonna give it a name, so we'll call it my email Strapi tutorial. And then we'll say dash dash quick start in order to set up a project for us locally. So the installation is just finishing up and our application is launching. Uh, we'll just close that for a minute because we don't need to run it right now. And we're going to install the provider package that we need for sending email. So Strapi has multiple providers that you can use. We're going to use SendGrid. Um, so you can go to SendGrid's website, you can register an account and get an API key from there. Um, so we're going to do an npm install at strapi forward slash provider dash email dash SendGrid. And then we'll save that into our dependencies. Now that our provider is installed, we need to add the API key for our provider. So we'll open up our project here. And inside of our project, we'll see that we have our default Strapi application structure here. Uh, in our dot environment file, we need to add a, the SendGrid API key. And here is my test key. And that's all we need to add into there. So we'll save that and close that. Now we need to also configure our Strapi application to use SendGrid as the default provider. Um, so we will go into our config folder and then we will go to the plugins.js file. Now by default that file is not there, so we can create a plugins.js. In the plugins.js file, we're going to add the code from the Strapi provider email SendGrid plugin npm repository. So we'll go here, grab this section and we'll put that into our plugins.js. Actually, we'll grab this whole file since we have a blank plugins.js currently. So remove this, remove this. And there we go. So we have a default configuration set up using the SendGrid API key environment variable. So if we look in our dot environment, that will grab this SendGrid API key. So we can save this. Now the default from here, this needs to match uh, the email address that you've set up inside of your SendGrid account. So in my case, I set it up no reply at Braden Gerard. And we'll do that for both the default from as well as the default reply to. Now this gets Strapi using SendGrid as your default email provider. Uh, and it uses the node module that we installed to do the sending. And we have our API key here. So now we just need to decide where we actually want to send our email from. So our application is set up, ready to go with SendGrid. Um, at this point, Strapi will send all of our default emails through SendGrid now. Um, if I want to trigger my own email, uh, we can do that. So let's go over to our installation. So let's open up our terminal here. And we will go into our project. And we'll do an npm run develop. And then we'll just open that up in our browser. And it's gonna ask us to set up our initial account. So we'll put in our info and click let's start. All right, so we have our default Strapi installation set up. Um, we're gonna create a new content type. So we'll go over to our content type builder and we will create a new collection type and we're gonna call it to do's and We'll call it to do. So we have the singular and then the plural version. We'll hit continue. And then we're gonna give our to do's a text field. So the name of our to do. And we're gonna give it a Boolean field for whether it's complete or not. So we'll say completed. And then we'll save that content type. So now if we go to our content manager, we should see that we have to do's, perfect. Um, and what we're going to do is when we create a new to do, we're going to have it send us the to do by email. So we have a record of it in our email. So we'll go back to our application 
And now we should see in our API folder, a to-do folder. If we go into that to-do folder, we can see that there's some folders. We have a content types folder and inside of that content types folder is the to-do folder. Now inside of that to-do folder is where you wanna create a new file. And we're gonna call that file lifecycles.js. So in our lifecycles.js file, we'll do module.export is equal to, and then inside of here, we're gonna say after create. So this is the hook that Strapi calls with the event, which is the object that's getting created. And we're gonna make that async just so that we can await our email sending. And then we'll get the result from the event which is the actual to-do itself. And then we're gonna do a try catch just to make sure that we don't cause any errors here if our email doesn't send and we'll await our email to send and we'll say strappy dot, dot plugins. And we want the email plugin dot services dot email dot send. And then that's gonna take an object with the options for the email. So we'll say it's gonna to go to braden at gerard.com. We're gonna say who it's from, which in this case is going to be the email that you've set up in your SendGrid or your provider. And I have no reply at bradengerard.com. And then we're gonna say, what is the subject of the email? You have a new to-do. And then what is the text? So the body of the email. And we'll say your to do is. And we'll get the result dot name, which is the name of our to do. And then just in case this fails, we will catch. And we'll console.log the error just so we're not blocking the admin. If something fails, we'll just log out the error. And that will do it. Now we should be able to send, have email sent automatically after we create a new to-do. So we'll just run our project here. And we'll go over to our admin and create a new to-do. So create new entry, the name, feed the dog. And we'll say that it's not completed yet. And we'll save that. And now that that's saved, that would trigger our lifecycle hook, which will then send me an email. And there's the email coming in right there. Your to-do is feed the dog. So that's how you can create emails being sent from Strapi.